So, if we are not to be shoved aside, we have to be prepared to act in our own interests, which is, of course, the most natural, normal, and healthy thing in the world. Much we are told otherwise. Every other group, every other group naturally does so. They don't think twice about it. It is only whites who worry about whether or not it is proper and moral for them to do what they would naturally wish to do in this respect. Why do we not defend our own? And in answering this question, there are many, I think there are many ways to approach this question. I'm not fully satisfied that I have the answers to this question, but I will borrow an idea from Professor Lepp, who will be speaking tomorrow morning. He once made an observation to me that every age and every people has its absolute sin. In the medieval Europe, for example, to, for a woman to have her chastity or her virtue violated was an absolute sin. And a woman was supposed to prefer death rather than commit this absolute sin. Today, in the late 20th century, at least for white people, racism, of course, is an absolute sin. We must do nothing that could conceivably provoke an accusation of racism. Well, when you think about this, if, ever, if you think about any other group or organization in the world, Obviously, unless its members promote their interests first, then that group disappears and is destroyed. If the Democratic Party does not think enough of its principles to put them before those of another group, what will happen? It will disappear. If the nation of Japan does not have sense enough to put Japanese interests before those of other countries, if the Japanese people don't have a sense of being a people, have a sense of legitimate interests, Japan will disappear. Well, we, of course, are the same way. Unless we are willing to articulate and defend our legitimate interests, and frankly, to be prepared to put our interests before those of others in as moral and as humane a way as possible, we too will disappear. And what are these legitimate interests of ours? Well, obviously and clearly, the most obvious is not to be swamped. It is our right. It is our duty not to let our country become full of people who are utterly unlike ourselves. Clearly, the United States has no duty whatsoever to look after every incompetent third world tribe that drifts into the United States. And I'd like to make something else clear. It is our duty and it is our right to oppose dispossession by any group unlike ourselves. Let us imagine that this million immigrants coming into our country every year was composed of people smarter than ourselves, harder working, more moral, better looking, superior in every way. It is still our obligation to prevent them because we have the rights to be us, and only we can be us. We have the have the right to participate in the unfolding of our own culture according to its own particular genius. And no other people has the right to prevent that. We should have the right to do this without the fatal embrace of those who wish to come live amongst us and thereby transform what our ancestors have built and what it is our right to carry forward. 